I was the girl that hung out before school and smoked. When I went to races, if you're going to beat me, I was ready to spit blood. I fight to the death of me. <laughs> it's the only way to do it, right? Patty Dillon interview, take one. Hi, I'm Patty Dillon. I'm former world and American record holder for long distance running. And I was the first American woman to break 2.30 in the marathon. Ask me anything. What are some of the major American and world records that you held? Okay, the first one I did was a 20K. And then I had the 10K, the 15K, the 10 mile, the half marathon, the 30K in the marathon. And I think I did them all in the year. It was a pretty good year. This photo, Boston Garden, 1981. So were you like a celebrity, a rock star in Boston? Um, no, but I was, no. Uh, Larry Bird gave me season tickets to the Boston Celtics because I was a fan. As a matter of fact, each time I set a record, I got standing ovations. Patty, Patty. <laughs> it was pretty cool. This was in 1981 in Boston. A great shot with you and your sisters. Can you tell us about the photo? I had three sisters come to the marathon, and I thought for sure I was going to win this thing. But then I got hit with the horse. We're rewinding him. What happened with the horse? Oh, come down to 23 miles. It's packed. I get into get ready to get into gear. Boom! Smack into the hind quarters of a horse. <laughs> The police had the horses out, and you couldn't see it because the crowd, it was so tight. By the time I was getting myself together, I could hear Alison Rowe of New Zealand passed me. I, I think I even reached out, like, no! It's, it's not supposed to happen like this. I mean, I'm, I'm shattered. And all I'm thinking is close the gap, close the gap, close the gap. I did close the gap. <laughs> And I got second, but it was a PR, New American Record, 227. It was great. If you win Boston, I mean, you're like golden. You know, you're like, you're set. And I got second three times. And so my coach, who also happened to be my husband at the time, said to me, I don't know what else to do with you, Patty. Right out. Right out. What did he mean he, d he doesn't know what to do with you? He doesn't know it as a runner or as a, as runner, a wife? Or? As a runner, because um, he did every. He wanted me to win. He wanted to be a, a world-class coach. When that was said, I went to a spot where I'm not running for Patty anymore. I'm running for somebody else. I'm seeking approval for something else. This is not me. And it was basically over. My career was over. It was 1976. I didn't see anything really for myself. Nothing. No ambition, no thought, no dream. And I got heavy, got very heavy. And I stayed like this for quite a while until I saw a classmate that I went to high school with. And she looked gorgeous. And I thought, you know, she's got it. Whatever she has, I want it. I wanted to go back to a time that I was the happiest. And I was the happiest between eight and 10. And that is when I rode my bike, I ran. You just run and you get your friends and you play. The next day, I rode my bike to the cemetery. I had cut off jeans with the fringe, you know, I guess Daisy Dukes. <laughs> and I took a deep breath and started running. Two laps, and oh, I was discombobulated. I had arms and legs and feet. I had no idea how it was connected and what it was supposed to do. By the third and fourth lap, it didn't matter. I was ecstatic. I was like, 
over the moon. I didn't know, but I had it in me. Well, that night, I had the best sleep. The next morning, I went to reach for my cigarettes. And I couldn't, like, everywhere hurt. But I fought my way through. I did light my cigarette. I did enjoy it. And it took me about two weeks to be able to go for another jog. And I did. Oh, do you think it's arrogant to call yourself a pioneer for women's athletics, even if it's true? Arrogant? Oh gosh, that's a strong word. Somebody gave me a title and I went with it. I ran in the streets. I did the best I could do and it was noted. That's the way I see it, so yeah. I showed up and it was great. This is my biography. No, this one. You see this one? What is it? What does it feel like to lose your toenails during a race? It's painful afterwards. I had a race one time. I took off my shoes and I lost all 10 toenails. <laughs> so I never felt it. But I paid for it.